public by calling today. The number to call is 800-547-5262. 800-547-5262. That's 800-547-5262. <laughs> Americans and uh, probably uh, all over the world is yeah. a familiar thing. Uh, I particularly liked the show myself because it was a macho thing that was one of the many successes of this guy. His name is uh, Henry Eric uh, Estrada. He was born March 16th. He's an American actor and he, he's known for his co-starring role uh, in uh, Chips that ran from 77, that's 1977 to 83. Um, it was the United States Police Television Series, and he later became known for his work in Spanish language, uh, and in most re recent years, his appearances in reality shows, and so on and so so forth. Eric was born in uh, uh, East Harlem, Manhattan, in New York City. He's the son of a Carmen. She was a seamstress, and uh, he's of Puerto Rican descent. And when er Eric was a young boy, he had the dream of becoming one of uh, the most popular Latino actors, and he certainly, he certainly, he certainly <laughs> achieved that, you know. And um, he first began his acting career by starring in a Fritos commercial as the Mexican Frito Bandito. How about that? Anyway, uh, hmm. aside from uh, all the many, many shows that he's done, he's a, uh, he's a wonderful actor, and he had that uh, hit series. Uh, he also was... Uh, uh, later, he was voted one of the ten sexiest bachelors in the world by People magazine. Are you listening to that? One of the ten sexiest bachelors. I don't think I didn't already know People that. Magazine. Hello. And, was, and he was <laughs> featured on the November uh, issue. Now, uh, probably more important than, uh, uh, than any of that is he's a very generous guy when it comes to uh, letting himself do charities. Um, He's a spokesman for uh, the car seat inspections installment plan for children. He's numerous appearances uh, supporting automobile child seat safety checks across the country, and on and on and on. And he uh, is a to commit to that tells you the class of, of this actor. I like him as an actor. I respect him, and I want to thank him right now for being a part of this. You five and a half million wonderful listeners, let me introduce you to Eric Estrada. Hi, Eric. Hi, Jennifer. Robert, I want you to quit your job, and I want you to be my publicist, my manager, <laughs> my agent. My <laughs> hey, Eric, thanks for that. The, the only problem with what I just did is I meant every word of it. You've, you've oh, accomplished that. Oh, no, I know that. you do. I know you. The last time we saw each other was uh, about six years ago at one of those Norman Walter things. Uh, remember at the Beverly Hotel, Beverly Hills Hotel? Yeah, it was uh, one of the Academy Award uh, dinners. Right, yeah, you were sitting at a table uh, on the other side from mine, and I uh, came over and said hi to you. It's good to see you. I really appreciate uh, you having me on your show, buddy. Oh, I appreciate you doing it, Eric. Now, listen, oh, it, it, the show's not about us. It's about our listeners, and there are five and a half million of them, and they are terrific. They uh, send emails, and they do phoners. If you want to talk to Eric or ask oh, him questions. Oh, i to talk to any of them, any, and, and, and they can ask me anything. I'll answer anything. All right. Now, there's one specific thing that we do want to ask. Go ahead, Jennifer, and ask uh, uh, yeah, well, we wanted to, I mean, we obviously want to get into your career, Eric, but we know that you have got, like, a pretty big project coming up. You're, you're going to be a superhero, we hear. Well, yes, right now I'm, I'm one of the three members of the Butterfinger Defense League. Mm -hmm. You know, with Lou Ferrigno, you got Lou Ferrigno, you got uh, Charisma Carpenter, and we, uh, we represent the Butterfinger Defense League. People can go to it. And you know what else we have going on? Because we... We're not going to, nobody's going to lay a finger, no one's going to lay a finger on my butterfinger. And we, we will protect your butterfinger. And if yours gets stolen, you contact the Butterfinger Defense League, and we will replace it. Now, this is now, a pretty big crime, right? People are stealing butterfingers all over the place. Right. They are. As a matter of <laughs> fact, there was one incident in, in Texas where there's, there was a home break-in, and <laughs> every, they were taking uh, recorders and everything. And then they left everything and just took their candy bars, and it happened to be Butterfingers. And this has actually happened. It actually happened. Wow. Uh, those figures. Those cravings will do you in. Uh, uh, I know. One of the things we have happening is that at Comic-Con this, uh, this 
July, mm -hmm. we're having a uh, we, we're having people write in to be the fourth member of the Butterfinger Defense League and give us why they should join us. What can they contribute to the team, the Defense League, and what are their attributes and what they can bring to the table? And it's a contest, and the the winner will be spending three days with us at San Diego Comic Con. So people get to this contest. And how do they how do they enter that? One more time, Eric. Well, uh, they go to Butterfinger Defense League, okay. and they can um, and they get a VI trip to Comic Con International this summer, and they they can enter in by joining by actually uh, giving us their information on why they they should be the fourth member to the Defense League and why they should win the contest and why they should be part of the trio. Fun, to defend fun. What is near to all of us, but a finger. Now, do you, you understand how the how the public can get in touch uh, with Eric? Absolutely. You go okay. just go to the Butterfinger Defense League okay. the website. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Good. On Butterfinger, or or they can Twitter on Butterfinger and 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 and. You know. Perfect. I love it. Uh, hey, Eric. Now listen. Uh, yes, this, sir. This guy here is the aide de camp to the mayor of. Uh, uh, France. I am going to go over to France in August because these people have been so genuine and so kind to me uh, that I'm going for no other reason. Uh, no one's paying my airfare. I'm just doing it to hang out with these people that have supported this show. So I'd, I'd like you to talk. He wants to talk to Eric Estrada. His name is Jean-Luc, and he's calling you from France. Hi, Jean-Luc. Jean -Luc. Wait a minute. Hello, 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 Jennifer. It's a pleasure to, to hear you. Uh, Robert, hello, and Mr. Estrada. It's a pleasure to, to talk to you. Bonjour, mon ami. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, I'm very glad to, to talk to you again. You came in France uh, on the French Riviera uh, in 1996. Yeah, and didn't, didn't I? Did, yes, I was there for um, the Nice television the uh, 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 award show. But did I meet you in Thailand? Uh, yes, uh, we met uh, in Nice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but nice festival. You were, yeah, but, uh, but you were also in Thailand, I think, no? Excuse me, I, I, I haven't uh, understood. Were you in Thailand, Jean-Luc? Uh, no. Oh, okay, well, there's a lot of junk. <laughs> Must be a few yes, uh, floating around. Some questions for you, Rick, please. Um, you were starring with uh, Telly Savalas uh, in uh, The Dirty Dozen, The Fatal Mission. How was it to play with him? Well, Telly Savalas I had worked before because back in, before I did Chips, I was playing the stereotypical bad guy on television. You know, Beretta, Kojak, Mannix. Uh, Hawaii Five O, Six Million Dollar Man, and I did a Telly Savalas show when he had his television show, Kojak, and I met him on that. And Savalas always had a thing when he had. Uh, I introduced him to my sister, and and to and he was always a gentleman, and he blew me away because he would take a woman's hand and kiss the hand and say hello, darling. He, <laughs> he was old school. He was old, old school with respect for women in that sense. And I, I was very impressed, but that's the, that's the most pleasant thing that I remember about him most. But he was a great man, and then we worked together on Dirty Dozen 4. Hey, Eric, can, Eric uh, uh, can you uh, do me a favor? Would you stay for another segment? Yeah, baby, I'm uh, with you, man. All right, so, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Now, hey, I'm going to leave you my phone number so you can call me anytime. Hey, I appreciate it. Hey, John Luke, hang in there. You can ask uh, uh, another question if you like. We're going to commercial and 800 336 2225. It is the PM show with Robert Conrad right here on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Times are tough.